Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use my um, Steam Deck controller template. Um, and this will be incredibly useful for anybody who has come from console um, to Daisy on Steam Deck, or maybe you've gone, you were on console and you went to PC Daisy, and now you've got a Steam Deck and you want a workable template. And I think, I think I've cracked it. I think I can fully play daisy on my steam deck now with the template i've got so the headline feature i just want to quickly show you before we we get into the um the weeds is the problem is inventory management and the quick key because daisy pc has half controller support set up so you can do all the the important things but you can't look after your inventory so what this does what this template does is you have things like um if you tap in the middle um, uh, middle of the right trackpad, that means you can manipulate objects like that to get them in your inventory. And also, we use the left trackpad as our quick access menu. So we can quickly change over weapons, and we can even um, bring up the map if we've got one, put it away, and we can even, if we've got night vision or a head torch, turn that on and off because we have L bound to that one um, and everything else works now in the description below this video you'll find a link to a hopefully a description of the xbox uh, controls for uh, daisy because all of the other simple things like aiming down sight and crouching and rolling around and doing all this sort of stuff this is all based mainly on the xbox way of doing things because that, that's already in the game and then we've just got some extra little bits that i've added in that enable you to do things like manipulate your inventory so obviously you'll have daisy unfortunately at the time of recording this video there's still not an easy way around the fact that you can't really load mods so you're going to be playing official servers that don't have any mods or you're going to be playing um, community servers that don't have any mods um, if you do a Google search, you will find people have found a way around of this, and hopefully the devs will fix the launcher so that we can do it soon. But there's nothing wrong with playing Daisy Vanilla, I don't think. And I think Daisy on the Steam Deck is absolutely amazing. So, first things first, first things first, first things first. So, you'll want to go into the game settings and go down to properties and make sure that under controller you've got Steam input enabled. Now, what's it's a bit difficult to see that, isn't it? Turn on its turn down the brightness a little. If I can press the right button, turn down the brightness. Right there, can you see a bit? It might not be well. Basically, it says enable Steam input there if you can't read that. Um, and Steam input is an interface that sits between the game, so Daisy running in the background and the controls you're pressing on your, your thumb pads and, and all the buttons. It means that you can change which controls do what in a game without going into the game and changing the key bindings. Um, although, obviously, you, you can still do that. So we enable Steam Input, and then what you want to do in here, in the controller, you select that, and you'll want to go up to, so you'll have current button loadout, so you select it at the top, and then do a search for, uh, here we go, do a search for scale speeder, okay? And you should get a load of templates come up. Now, what I'm doing is, as I'm improving them, I'm changing it from V2 to V3 and stuff like that. So it may be by the time you come to watch this, there might be V4, there might be V5, there might be other sort of stuff. So select it and try and apply it. Now, although... Um, Steam uh, Steam controller support is really, really cool. It doesn't always work. So if you find it doesn't work, what I'm also going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to set this up yourself so it works yourself, so you can have a go. And also what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to customise it. So what should happen is you should be able to apply that and click Apply Layout, and then it should be there. So it should say it there. Now, it might not, okay, because... It's a bit buggy, I think, what's happening. Um, in fact, you may be able to find it under community layouts as well, because this is specific to the game, but there's lots of lots of other ones here. What I've found with lots of the other ones, they're based on PC players um, trying to 
had, you know, p put all the mouse and keyboard controls on, and they don't always do it. I don't think in in a logical manner, or or not in a logical manner that's logical to someone who's come from from console. So let's so let's resume that. So once you've done that, um, everything else is is just as it would be on console. So B, it's difficult to see this, isn't it? B does the crouch, hold B does lie on the ground. This is slightly different in the fact that it's right shoulder button and left shoulder button to to roll around, where you have to be aim down sight on on console to be able to to roll around. But I'm not sure if when you're aim down sights, yeah, you can still roll around like that. Um, it's left trigger to ADS. Uh, it's click in right stick to look down the scope. Um, if you've got something like the uh, M1, swap to the M1. If you're uh, ADS and you're looking to change uh, scopes, it's right on the D-pad. Um, to zero in and out, it's up and down on the D-pad. If you can, maybe you can't on the, have to be ADS. Yeah, there you go. I've got the ADS to, to change. You probably can't see that, but it's changing the, the zeroing of the scope. Um, to get into the inventory, it's the uh, sorry, to pause, it's getting the top right. And obviously that once you pause, you see, you can you can use your mouse. And then to get inventory, again, it's the top left uh, options button. And then to move stuff around, you're using your mouse. So you put stuff on the floor, pick stuff up, combine it, change. You can pick stuff up, press and hold your right trigger, and then tap in the middle of the trackpad to change its which way it goes. Um, and yeah, it's all the normal sort of controller stuff. That if you look at the controls, you'll see it, it comes pretty intuitively and it's fairly easy. Um, you can lean, you can switch switch shoulders by pressing the shoulder buttons like that, and then we have we move this around so you, you you move your thumb around and if you press it in the middle that will get rid of the hot bar and then press it again and bring it up you can still select stuff with the hot bar not being there you don't have to have it up um m for the map only works if you've got a map or if the server is set up where you don't need a map to look at the map and then you can press b again it's difficult to see isn't it to come out of it night vision or head torch is pr press and hold l so if you just tap it nothing happens but you have to press and hold l and then your night vision pops up and press and hold l to get rid of it or if you've got a head torch on that'll turn a head torch on as well um to talk is uh press left on the d-pad um to permanently leave your mic open so that's push the talk is double double left um, to change your mic volume, hold down left and use your um, bumpers. So on the top to, to turn it up and down, like so. Um, uh, double click top button to zoom in. You know, so you can sort of you get that closer view. If that is a bit odd, the fact that it switches around. And um, single click on the right stick takes you from first to third person view. Nice and easy. And again, all those instructions will be... Um, well, you, there's a couple of places you can check them out. Actually, if you go into the pause menu and go into options and then go into controls and then go into c configure key bindings, on the right hand side, you'll see all the controller options. Well, you'll see most of them. You don't see most of them. You see, you'll see most of them. Um, oh, right. That's an important one. So um, uh, it's right on D pad to bring up the radial menu for um, looking around. So you can do poses. All this sort of stuff. You don't need to use your. You don't need to use your interaction keys. See, we're, we've got to stand up to do something else, haven't we? Shake head. There we go. So you, you, all that stuff's there. Oh, one other thing, actually, I should mention. Although you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for your um, uh, quick access on here. On the back as well, you've got these four buttons, and they're set up for one, two, three, four. So top left is one, um, and I did that just so you've got quick access as well. So you don't have to mess around with your radial, and you've got three is top right, four is bottom left. Oh, and to put things onto the, here we go. Now, let me show you this. To put things onto the quick access menu can be a little bit of a pain, because the way it kind of should work is that you should be able to click on something, and then like use the radial menu, so actually can I have this as nine, 
oh, we haven't got nine, have we? As eight, and press and hold that. And it and it will do it, but it can be a little bit hit and miss. So the quickest way I find is if you want to add something to your radio menu, just drag it across. So press your right trigger, then use your, your, your right um, thing, and just put it on the number. And that will work every single time. And then when you've got your radio menu, you can just you can just do that. So I think I can completely play Daisy like this. I think I have all the controls that I could could want. Um, actually, one f f I say a final thing might not be the final thing. If you want to bring up chat, so text chat, not talk chat. You press Steam and X, and press Enter, which is your your right trigger. And that'll bring up the chat box. Press Steam and X again, and you can you can uh, you should be able to write. He says. Hello. Then press right trigger, and you probably see it has appeared there. And then you can press the yeah. This sometimes could be so we've kind of got the text chart up now, and we're still running around with stuff. So all right, so it's disappeared now. Kind of disappeared. Remember, this is a big glitchy and takes a bit of getting used to, especially like me if you're used to playing on console um, and uh, binding all this. But yeah, I think we have all the commands. Okay, so. So now we know that works, let me show you how you can customize all this stuff. So if you press the Steam button on the top, in the bottom left-hand corner, and you go to Controller Settings, you go to Edit, excuse me, Edit Layout. And if you go to the buttons first, so you press A to get into the buttons, and then you can scroll around. These all just behave as normally. And there we have the black back grips. So all you want to do, say with the back grip, you just click on it, and then you use your top, uh, buttons here to go between the different actions and you just give it an action so let's give that say we wanted to give that one four so l4 which is the top left one on the back is now four so we don't want that we want it to be want it to be one so that's super easy um and then what else did we have uh so then the other one really is the track pads so right track behavior adds mouse and what i did was so r click so pressing r is space key so you would just press that and then go down to say if I wanted to be Z I could do that and that would be Z but I don't want it to be that I want it to be space key it's good and then left track behavior is quick menu so you just select quick menu then you go into the settings and then you set the center but I mean you set it wherever you like but you set the center button to it's like a it's a left facing apostrophe you know on your keyboard can I bring it? Will it let me bring up a keyboard here? No, it won't. So in your keyboard, it's the one that's up in the top left-hand corner. In fact, I can show you, can't I? There we go. It's that one there. See that one there? That's, that does it. And then radio button one is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then what you can do is you can go to the on-screen display and you can change the size. You can even change where it is and all this sort of stuff. Um, and, uh, oh, and of course, oh, sorry. So we did one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and then M and then L as well. And you could add more. If you make the radial menu bigger, you can have more because so that the angle isn't quite so hard. And obviously, because we've got one through nine on the radial menu, there's nothing stopping you um, changing the back buttons to something else as well. So the idea with this is that you can easily add more functions, and this is incredibly powerful. It could be that, for example, with certain mods that that we'll use when when we can apply mods to Daisy easily, um, you will need separate buttons. But it means you know we can make the radial menu bigger. We can add you know more letters to it. You could even have the entire alphabet on there, I guess, couldn't you, if it was big enough. Um, to, to, to have like a quick access key, keyboard but remember you do have the quick access keyboard with steam and x you know the, the keyboard you know does does pop up um, um but you could change the buttons on the back to uh those ones in fact if you if you apply the scale speeder template version one um that one actually uses a combination of the buttons one two three four and then it uses something called a chord so you press the center button on the uh, the trackpad and then you press one two three four to get that gives you five six seven eight but i don't think that's as um useful as if I, how did i get rid of the display see i'm learning stuff all the time <laughs> so so there we go daisy um incredibly uh, useful um 
hopefully anyway, and incredibly play playable, I think, with the ability to, to be able to choose your weapons like that in a similar way that you can on console. Um, let's get a bandage, yeah, let's get a knife out. And the fact that within your inventory, you can pick things up using your right trigger, and then you just tap in the middle to change it out so you can fit stuff in in that game of Tetris that you have to play with PC inventory. So there we go. Hopefully at some point the Daisy devs will go, I tell you what, let's just import the um, controller, you, you know, the cons console controller for PlayStation and Xbox over to the PC version so you won't have to go all this because honestly the the console controller scheme on for Xbox and PlayStation is really good really good the guys at reforger could probably learn a thing or two from it um it is uh, it is really good the only thing that it lacks really um is they don't have an l or an m key set up so there we go that my friends is how you have a workable layout for your steam deck a controller template layout um and uh, yeah I've, I've driven around in cars i've done loads of stuff I killed loads of zombies with it and everything seems to work absolutely fine if i've missed some commands out and you go, oh, Rob, this is obvious. Why haven't you put this in? Please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll do like a V5, V6, V7, V8 version of this uh, to help everybody out. So there we go. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you again soon.